Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to take a look at a newly refreshed idea from HEA Designs. This is the EQ V2. Now if you go back a little ways in my channel, I think about two years ago, you'll see the original Equilibrium video. It was a really cool knife, a hell of a lot of fun, and I felt it was a great value, and especially for the fact that you had such a unique look to it, um, having that kind of scimitar look to the overall blade shape. Now we've got the newly refreshed version, and it's more than just a facelift. It really is an entirely new model. Now I'm going to show you two different variations. You've already seen them in the pictures. One is the carbon fiber and titanium bolster lock. And the other one, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be the full titanium frame lock. But I'm going to start here with my clear favorite. I'm a huge bolster lock fan, and this is one of the most unique bolster locks that I've had a chance to handle. So what are we looking at here? You're looking at a three and a half inch blade. Now, if you go back to the original Equilibrium, it was just under four inches. It was, was three point nine inches. Now you've got a three and a half inch blade. Now for a lot of people, that's going to be easier to carry. It's going to be a little bit easier to toss in the pocket. And on top of that, the handle, it's shorter, it's narrower, and it's slimmer. So you've got <laughs> what I think is, is a pretty uh, incredible overall package. The uh, handle is 4.9 inches long and 1.1 inches wide yes so it's got a very narrow footprint inside of your pocket now you'll have to excuse my voice it's kind of coming and going today I'm not really sure why I've been fighting some allergy issues lately but hopefully you'll still be able to understand me well enough to hear the excitement in my voice now one of the things that I wasn't overly in love with with the original was the really big flipper tab now you have a much smaller flipper tab and it's less obtrusive look at the way that these materials have been integrated here's your bolster lock and as Sam mentioned on the uh, the copy for his website this is one of the biggest challenges for making a bolster lock in a knife that doesn't have very many straight lines and you can see that what he's done is he's made a very big shoulder here with the carbon fiber and it actually creates a semicircle where when you look at just the bolster area it makes a circle so it really came out to be a, a very interesting way to overcome that little issue just about how it comes out when you take a look at it now not only is it a bolster lock but you've got the Let's see if we can, I don't even know if we can see it in here, but way back in there is a steel bar. So you've got the steel on steel contact. The uh, scale obviously acts as an over travel. So all that going on in that tiny little space right there for the lock. One of the design features that I love about this is the way the handle comes up to match that harpoon for the blade so everything just sits in here flush and by the way you do not catch your finger on the tip of the blade it is recessed down in there just enough now in most cases I don't like a backspacer that comes all the way around and then up into this area because then that means your blades gonna be much shorter than the handle and it looks imbalanced however when you take a look at this the blade looks like it's the exact same length as the handle. And I think that's really a trickery of the, uh, of the design here. It kind of fools your eye because of the way that it comes up. It really does look larger than it really is. So kudos to Sam for coming up with a really cool way to design that and still have the beauty of that backspacer coming all the way around. You've got a blind screwed titanium pocket clip. You have a floating backspacer that's been rounded, and there is, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there is a notched channel that goes down, and then it just disappears into this perfectly rounded titanium backspacer. It's a really cool little design aspect. It's not going to jump out at you the very first time you see the knife, but it is certainly a, a beautiful little little piece of detail that 
when you have the knife for a while, it'll jump out at you like, holy crap, I didn't even notice that. Uh, I think that's very, very cool. Really nice quality carbon fiber. Nice bit of sheen to it there, but it's still a matte carbon fiber. Then again, you have the HEA logo set into the pivot. And when you look at it on the reverse side, it's actually mirrored. So that's kind of neat too. Yeah, so it says HEA. On the other side, it says AEH. Ah, I bet you didn't notice that. Ah, slick. Pocket clip design is great. It complements the overall flow and feel of the knife. Retention is fantastic. It feels really, really good in the pocket. Couple things to note here. Not only is the I don't want to say just the, just the locking mechanism, but really everything here is a new start. It is an equilibrium. You can look at it and you can see the similarities. However, you have a different grind. You've got a hollow grind now. You've got M390 steel, which is an upgrade. You've got uh, the ceramic bead blasting with the hand rub satin on the flats. That's a very, very nice touch. Gives you a really nice contrast, and it uh, really pops in the sunlight too, by the way. Uh, you've got the machine thumb relief, hidden steel lock insert that I showed you, integrated over travel stop, which is built into the frame lock. This obviously already uh, has that integration by having a scale over it. You have multi-row ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. What does that mean? Oh, it means it is fast and it is smooth. I don't care if you light switch or if you push button this thing is lightning lightning fast this actually is the fastest flipper that I felt come from HEA designs they've certainly worked on their action and it was already damn good I mean there was there was no there was no reason to complain about it before but now when you feel this new action you're like wow they, they took it and took another step up I love this blade shape it is insane. It's wicked and very, very aggressive. Now, I'm going to show you the packaging as I pull out the other option here. Now, you're going to get two options. You can get the titanium frame lock or you can get the titanium and carbon fiber bolster lock. And each of those options will then have variants below that of different colors that you can choose from. So, here is the outer sleeve of the packaging which mirrors the box itself and it has a magnetic flap on the lid and you get the uh, little welcome card from Sam Whoa! you can pause that and read that if you'd like and then we get past the first piece of foam and we get to the presentation of the knife now this is the frame lock Let's see if there's goodies underneath here. There is a, uh, a bag of chiclets. Uh, I, I, I always tell people, just throw the whole pack in your mouth and let it dissolve naturally. You don't have to bother chewing it. There's probably kids watching. Do not eat silica gel packs. You will die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here is a birthday card. Yes, this is something that wasn't done before. So you have a limited run. There's only 150 each of these variations and yours will be individually numbered on this card so that's pretty slick that's pretty cool what's in here I want to be anticlimactic and oh no there is stuff in here okay yay I, I knew that I knew there was stuff in there alright so you've got your microfiber cleaning cloth ooh that's actually kinda of nice for those of you that are uh, patch lovers here is your vinyl HEA patch and this is their uh, their soft slip case, so you can just slip it right in there if you want to uh, travel with it, or if that's how you want to carry it in your pocket, then uh, so be it. I think you're a weirdo if you do, uh, but sure, you have that option to be a weirdo. Now, let's take a look. I have not even touched this one. I haven't even pulled this one out because I immediately gravitated toward the bolster lock and, and, and claimed that as my favorite. Uh, let's see how it feels first. Oh... And of course it feels every bit as good, nice and fast. The texture on this is cool. So I don't know if the camera is really going to pick it up, but there are these very, very fine milled lines. Alright, so that might be a deciding factor for folks. I like the look of the carbon fiber and the, uh, the blasted titanium, but it is smooth.
I wouldn't go so far as to say that it's slick, like it's slippery, but it's smooth carbon fiber. This, wow, it's grippy. Like, I've, I've had a lot of knives that have had a similar texture here. Uh, Riat is big on doing that. But I don't recall any of them feeling nearly as grippy. Like, I can slide my thumb that way, but it doesn't want to slide as easily that way, going against the milled lines. That's kind of neat. I never really thought about that before, but that's a really nice grippy texture. All right, so my fascination with texture aside, let's take a look at it as a whole. Same finish on there, so you're going to get that uh, that ceramic uh, blasted, ceramic bead blasted blade with the contrast of the hand rub satin flats. That's gorgeous. I'm not a huge fan of the Exorcist Peace Soup Puke Green against the blue. It's kind of a goldish green, and that by itself is actually a pretty nice color. Uh, just for me personally, uh, it doesn't gel with the blue for me, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to just eat that up like crazy. That's fine. Um, there are plenty of people that have uh, dogs playing poker paintings up in their living rooms, too. And that, that's all you, man. But there are a lot of different options available, so there's a whole bunch of different colors you can choose from. Let's talk about the little subtle things here before we go any further. And one that's immediately jumping out is the uh, the way the hardware is done. So you've got contrasting color anodized hardware that will match with your floating back spacer and blind screwed pocket clip as well as the pivot. And then of course the uh, screw that holds in your steel lock insert. But if you go to the carbon fiber version, he's got the the blasted, just like this, just like the blasted titanium, blasted hardware here so it's kind of more muted and I think that if if I would have envisioned this in my mind as if I were designing it or conceptualizing it I probably would have gone with blue screws to go with the hardware backspacer and clip however um, I like this a lot more I like the fact that it kind of disappears into the carbon fiber makes the carbon fiber the showpiece of this knife and another thing that's going to really set these two apart because this is a bolster lock and it has that carbon fiber scale on there, you have that look of the completely circular bolster area where this doesn't have that, obviously. This just has that clean, solid titanium look with no breakup in the design, and this has that cool circle. There's something about this design that I like the circle a little bit more, and I think, obviously, subconsciously, it kind of goes in with the HEA logo being inside that uh, double circle there. So you've got the circle, you got the circle. It just kind of, I don't know, kind of works for me. So again, for me, 100% between the color choices, the way the hardware has been done, the carbon fiber itself, the finishes, and the fact that it's got that circular bolster, I, I like the bolster lock the best. However, if you are a frame lock fan, and most of us are, you're going to be totally satisfied with this bad boy right here. And another interesting thing to note here is where he's done the lock bar relief cut. That's usually done much, much further back. And generally, it will be a pocket. It will be one big cutout. Here, it's done in an accordion style. So that's where your tension is coming from. It does make it pretty tight. It is given, it's given good lockup, so you've got no issues there. Um, so that's kind of an interesting choice there, too. So you've got your relief cut pretty much midway up the uh, lock side of the frame. Very clean look. I like the overall design. I like the fact that you can choose from a lot of different anodized colors. But another thing I think that makes the bolster lock a winner for me is the reduced weight. Now, if you take a look inside you'll see that there are pockets milled out inside of the titanium on both sides. So they've done a lot to reduce the weight on these knives and make them really EDC friendly and make them very lightweight. But this one has the same, actually more cutouts because they've actually cut out completely. It's not just a pocket. They've completely cut out because you can see the carbon fiber through those cutouts. And the fact that you're losing 
a lot of titanium there and making up for it in lightweight carbon fiber this is really really lightweight I wish I could give you an accurate measurement of the weight uh, but since you know I'm, I'm not a, uh, a cocaine dealer um, not a meth dealer uh, I actually just to be honest with you I don't deal any drugs whatsoever I don't have a scale so um, I have no way to weigh these and that information wasn't on the website maybe it was I don't want to say that maybe it was and I just didn't see it but regardless I didn't see it now another deciding factor for some people is going to be price point if you go for the titanium frame lock it's three hundred and forty nine dollars if you go for the bolster lock go for the bolster lock it's uh, $399, so $349, 399 350 400 bucks. Honestly, I think for the extra 50 bucks, it may not be that big of a, a deal to anybody, but for me personally, um, yeah, I would spend the extra 50 bucks to get the bolster lock. It's more unique. I've never seen a bolster lock done quite like this before. It works very, very well. It's aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Um, I just like everything about it. I like the muted hardware, letting the uh, carbon fiber just kind of be the showcase of that particular knife design. It's up to you. Um, all I can say is you absolutely need to get one of these in your hands. Now, I liked the Equilibrium a lot. The original, when it came out, I liked it a lot. But I talked to a lot of people and, you know, some people just went, I don't know if I can carry around a blade quite that big, especially with that aggressive look to it. It makes it look even bigger. But, man... And a three and a half inch blade, this thing is just, it's perfect now. It's the perfect carry size. It's the perfect carry weight. And it feels really nice in the hand. It's very small, so as you see, it's going to take up very little room in the pocket. But if you're wondering if that's going to create a hot spot, you see, I'm gripping hard enough to turn my skin colors. And there's no marks there from where that was. Actually there's more of a mark for me laying that knife down for a second. So as you're holding the knife normally it just kind of falls right in here right where your hands gonna bend upward anyway. So yeah so have no worries about that. And you don't really that's not gonna be a snagging point in the pocket because it's a tip up carry so that means the bolster side is down you'd be coming up so that's not going to be an issue so don't have any worries about that little hump there I think it looks cool as shit especially if you're just taking a look at it like this between that and the tip just gently resting in this little this little canoe I like that a lot I don't know I'm just big on precision fit I love to see when a, a knife designer takes the time to do little things like this. The blade isn't sticking up and out and it just it's made to be compact. It's made to be slender and sleek. And I gotta tell you guys, it's not easy to achieve and still have a sizable looking knife. It doesn't look like it has a, a puny little blade. There are times that you'll sacrifice the, your blade height in order to sink it into the handle like that. And it's evident your your frame is going to look big and bulky with his little skinny little wimpy blade. And here he's got a fantastic balance overall uh, as far as how it looks and how it feels. So there you go, guys. There's uh, two versions of it. Uh, the two main choices: bolster lock or titanium frame lock. And then you choose your colors after you choose your execution of the lock. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, Six AL four V titanium carbon fiber. Uh, M390 steel. Don't think I really missed anything in there. Yes, I have all the bases covered and it's safe to turn off the camera. Thank you guys for joining me once again. My personal opinion, I think it's a fan-freaking-tastic knife in every respect. It feels like a high-end custom at a, at a high-end production price. Bolster lock. Honestly, that looks and feels more custom. That's the way I would go. Yeah, it's 50 bucks more, but... Oh... Ugh. Ooh. All right. I have to stop getting excited. I got to cut the camera off. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to come back at you guys and hopefully in, a, in just a couple of days and give you another video. I'm trying to squeak out more whenever I can, and we'll see if we can get that done. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.